could play this on the radio. And when we did, the Bay Area like exploded for these folks, okay? And the single seriously is just like, like the cherry on top of the ice cream sundae because the entire album is insane and they are here. They're here to perform tonight. Y'all know the Fillmore here in San Francisco is like the launch pad. Like, bands that are kind of cool become legendary after playing here tonight. And they're on their way to the top. Give it up for Clean Bandit! Um, we're on our first ever North American tour, Clean Bandit. And um, it's about a month long, which is one of the longest kind of tours we've done so far away from home because usually we have a day here and there where we can go home. I imagined the tour to be difficult because I knew it was a huge area of America that we were going to be going over and it was mostly by bus but luckily we got this incredible bus that was like a hotel. The bus driver was really nice so that aspect was great. We started off in Toronto and then we drove to New York, Boston Actually, I can't remember the order, but and my geography is really bad, but we went to D.C. Chicago. Then to Philadelphia. Minneapolis. <laughs> trying to remember. We drove from Minneapolis to Seattle, which took 36 hours. Portland. San Francisco. San Diego. L.A. L.A., of course. And when we were in L.A., we shot a music video for our new song, Real Love. Miami. We're in Miami, under a rainbow. This is our hotel. This is the rainbow. Tampa. Uh, where are we now? Currently in Orlando. Jack, Luke, Neil, and I. Then the vocalists, Florence and Elizabeth. Front of house engineer, Jack Evely. Monitoring engineer Toby Burrow, our technician Arthur, only met him out here, we haven't worked with him before, and he's just been incredible. And Chris, who has been selling our merchandise, Anya Patarakina, a friend that we made when we used to live in Moscow and has worked on m nearly all of our music videos together, and last but not least, Alex Belmont, our um, tour manager, and he's been great, really great. Twelve beds on on the bus, and we just all get in the bunks at night, close our curtains, and it's quite kind of cosy when you get in. Um, but yeah, as I said, some of the drives are really long, so we kind of watch films or play games. We drive through the night. Sometimes the roads be really bumpy, and it'd be hard to sleep. Waking up feeling like. We have no idea where we are. Crazy. Hey. Uh, so, so in on the so. Well, we really are in the middle of nowhere. Da, 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 da. I guess that becomes your reality. And that becomes like your average day. I'd sit and do some work on Stronger, that song. Then we tend to arrive in, in a new city around lunchtime, kind of go straight to the venue, have a look at the stage, set up for the sound check. Go and get some food in some nice place and then try and find some music shop or synthesizer shop in the local venue. <laughs> and my favourite. <laughs> sound check usually around four o'clock um, but lately we've been doing this thing called the Insanity Workout. This has been Inspired by Elizabeth Troy, who's like ultimate fitness guru.
everyone in the band been doing this insanity workout, apart from me, uh, because I can't hack it, but I join in when it, when it's the kind of cardio recovery ones, even though I've got nothing to recover from. It's quite funny watching them all do it in the venue. It looks it looks good. of the crowd. It was just so fun and we were so happy because we had no idea really if anyone would know who we were out here and definitely we thought people wouldn't know anything more than rather be 